Hello and welcome back to our video. In this problem, we're told that a model estimates that at the end of each year from 2015 to 2020, the number of squirrels in a population was 150% more than the number of squirrels in the previous year. The model estimates that at the end of 2016, there were 180 squirrels in the population, and we're asked which of the following equations represents this model, where n is the estimated number of squirrels in the population t years after the end of 2015, and t is less than or equal to 25. So, we're given that at the end of 2016, there were 180 squirrels in the population. What does that actually mean for our variables n and t? So n is the estimated number of squirrels in the population, so that's 180. So n is equal to 180, and this is at the end of 2016, which is one year after the end of 2015, so therefore t is equal to 1. So, when t is equal to 1, n is equal to 180, let's check for all of our options, which of these is this true? So, we have a, n is equal to 72 times 1.5, and we're plugging in 1 for t. So this is 72 times 1.5 to the 1 is just 1, or sorry, it's just 1.5, it's just itself. So we have 72 times 1.5, which is 108. For b, n is equal to 72 times 2.5 to the 1, which is just 72 times 2.5, and this actually is 180. We still have to check C and D just to make sure that they don't line up too. Otherwise, we'll need more information if it doesn't come down to just 1. n is equal to 180 times 1.5 to the 1. This is equal to 180 times 1.5, which is 270. And D, you can probably see by now, is not going to line up, but let's do it anyways. 180 times 2.5 to the 1 is equal to 180 times 2.5, and this is equal to 450. So without even constructing a equation on our own, by just plugging in these points, we can see that only B lines up with the estimated value for, 200, for 2016. Therefore, B is our final answer.